What screams Rich a hole? My uncle, who was was an incredibly successful heart surgeon at the time, once took me to a show in downtown Austin. When we got to the venue, there was nowhere to park. He rolled up to an area that had yellow stripes everywhere and big no parking signs. I pointed out that we can't park there, but he just replied nah, it just costs 400 something dollars to park here. I do it all the time, they won't tow a Porsche. He was right, they didn't tow his car and just gave him a ticket. Having mommy daddy throw enough money around to make problems go away and get what you wanted in the end. Guy I knew growing up, and then we ended up at same college. His dad was some big wig real estate guy. Mom was a rarest to well known brand. He was very status conscious and knew he could always buy way out of trouble. Always some shady, borderline illegal scheme to make more money. Usually so he could buy himself a Rolex or sh- Anyway, our university was pretty elite, but he wanted to go to the best in his area of study, so he planned to transfer. He got like a 3.98 GPA, couldn't buy off a pay teacher to get an A, but because he was an entitled jerk couldn't get professors willing to write letters of recommendation, so he forged one, mailed it out, but forgot postage and got discovered when it went returned to send it to a professor who hadn't written it. His parents flew down, made a giant donation to our school, and the administration didn't inform his intended university of his stunt. He got in, he left our school, got his best degree and last I heard was working on Wall Street. I'm always amazed he hasn't ended up in prison for some sort of white collar sh- My friend went to a rich kid's school, wasn't rich herself. Got in on scholarship but she has the craziest spoiled rich kid stories. One of them is when she overheard a girl complaining about her family going to Italy for the summer because she wanted to go back to Spain. She was on the verge of tears about how she never gets what she wants. Mine was the girl in my high school who was upset because daddy bought her a brand new BMW 3 series and she was upset because she wanted a Land Rover. Ended up crashing the car and got her Land Rover after all. Whoa. I'd be happy with a refine Corolla. Had a girl in my college whose father sold a cyber security startup to a major company everyone has heard of for 9 figures. She got a $30k monthly allowance. I dated someone who legitimately complained about her parents only giving her a to a month allowance. I later realized that they bought her house and car outright and paid for her utilities. The 2k was food and spending money. It blew my mind. Then I realized I had paid for our date. WTF. I have a doctor customer who owes me money. Man got the nerve to have three personal luxury vehicles. Lives alone. But can't cut me a check when I come to service his house. I taught private swim lessons for a while in a wealthy region of Georgia. The price for a 2WK session of classes was $150 per child. I usually had the parents prepay each 2WK session prior to the first class. One client was the town doctor, she was the only general practice office in that area and was well known amongst the summertime at the lake house crowd. Anyway, she forgot cash to pay and offered me a check, but I didn't like accepting checks. I told her to bring it for the next class, she forgot again. At that point I thought to myself, well she's a doctor, she's just forgetful in her personal life. At the third class. I asked her to run into town while class was going on and I sidelined her son until she got back. So she comes out and says, oh we were talking and I didn't get a chance to go to the ATM. Finally I accepted her check. It bounced. I had to drive all the way back up there and go to her bank. I forgot what it's called. But I submitted the check to the bank to be paid out as soon as enough funds hit the account. The problem is, she had been dribbling checks all over the place and I basically had to wait my turn. It took 3 months to be paid $150. 3. Months. From that I learned, if you make $100 k per year and have $101 k worth of bills and debt, you're broke. Point blank period. BTW. I had to put her son out of the class with all of his little friends. Some of the other parents complained that I was being too strict. So I offered for them to pony up $17 each to pay for little Chase's lessons. No one wanted to do that. Funny they want you to eat the whole thing but they don't even want to pay a tenth of that lol. This is just insane to me. Pay your damn bills. We try to use local people for everything and I make sure they get their money asap. There is no reason to take your time paying someone for the work they did. Unless dude doesn't have the money he is trying to portray he does. 
which is a huge possibility too. That's not rich, that's called cup or overextending credit, low cash flow. A shocking number of rich people are poor. Living beyond your means happens across all class boundaries. I used to be a wedding photographer and the only check I ever had bounce was for the wealthiest customer I ever had. They couldn't get together $1,900 to pay me for 7 months even though they made over $200k a year in a low cost of living region. Fancy house. Fancy cars. Empty bank accounts. A Canada goose coat when you live in Florida. I'm totally not referencing anybody right now. I have no idea what a Canada goose jacket is, but it sounds like something I'd be down with. I live where Canada goose jackets are made and it screams. I'm Filipino and my mom sews at Canada Goose. I live in Canada Goose land and wearing a Canada Goose screams I'm French and I will pay $3000 for a 2x2 apartment in Montreal because I think the Paris market is normal. Do you know who I am? No B. I don't and I don't care. GTFO. I worked door at a club for a while and got this several times a night for years. Half the time I knew exactly who they were. I was acting on explicit instructions regarding them. That's so funny, I'm sure it would be hard for you to do dialogue with the noise level around you but, yes I do, you're Jim Smith, and last Saturday night you sucker punched another patron and threw a table when we kicked you out, would be great, there is, hopefully not an urban legend, story about someone doing the do you know who I am, angrily at a gate agent at an airport, the gate agent picks up the PA mic and announces customer service to gate 17. I have a gentleman here who doesn't know who he is. I worked at an arena for an NHL team, and the local WHL team played there, too. WHL team could pull 5,000 people on a good night, and I think the players got paid maybe $150 a week or something, all teenagers 15-17 or so. This WHL team was shit always lost, so it's not like it was full of future stars. One day I was taking tickets for a WHL game and this teenage girl comes up, dressed nice and wearing expensive clothes, but didn't have a ticket. When I said she couldn't go in, she dropped that line on me, don't you know who I am? I said no, and she said she was the team captain's girlfriend. I said that maybe she could go to a different gate where there was a concierge desk where people left tickets in such situations. She left. I thought to myself. B if you don't already know where the special entrance is, and if you don't already have a ticket in hand, maybe you aren't as special as you think you are. There's no punishment. I just pay $200 if I get caught. Police in London had a huge problem with this when super rich Arabs would come to London for the summer, and park their expensive supercars anywhere they liked, even if it wasn't legal or safe. Then when police or parking inspectors etc came along and told them to move the car or be fined. They'd just casually pay a fine of hundreds of pounds on the spot and walk away. The police had to show them it was an actual crime before some of them stopped. You guys don't tow? I was dining at restaurant opposite Harrods once. This Arab came in with a model, and he parked his supercar out front. The traffic wardens came to say they are putting tickets on the car. The Arab said yeah whatever, it's a flex for them to on dates. Any law where the punishment is a fine, it's a law for poor people only. Finland takes a percentage of income for fines. F1 driver Akonen had to pay something like 30 euros for not having the necessary paperwork for his car available. Still not gonna stop some billionaire but at least it's not just 200 pounds or something equally minuscule. When I had trouble paying for college my aunt suggested I use financial aid and proceeds to tell me how they had to lie about their income and where their daughter was staying to get it. And on the application they listed a trip to the Bahamas as mission work. They laughed because their daughter couldn't even stand to look at those dirty children but they wrote it up like she was teaching them the bible. Wow that is really an a-hole move. Me whenever I hear Joe Alostine's name mentioned. First thing that comes to mind is this. I was in middle school. And a group of kids were hanging out and I knew two of them so I went to talk to them. Girl drops her phone intentionally. It was an iPhone 8. And at the time it was the newest thing. Brand new phone too. She threw it on the ground again on the linoleum floor. The phone screen cracked. After that I asked why she did that because those are super expensive. She said it didn't matter because her mom would just buy her a new one. Maybe I'm a dumbass. But why would she drop her phone intentionally? Just for fun? 
She was probably wanting her parents' attention and the only way she knew to get it was to make them spend money. Me. Two nights ago. Three a-holes came in to eat at the restaurant I work at, more than an hour late for their reservation and roughly 75 minutes before we were legally required by the city to kick them out. Covered curfews are still in effect. If you get caught you risk losing your liquor license. When we dropped the check and explained the situation, they screamed that it was unacceptable because they had spent so much money with us. Guess what? Other people spent more than you that same night, and they were on time. We're not interested in risking a whole business and a few dozen people's jobs because you can't tell time and think that the world is going to stop for you. The CEO of the non-profit hospital I work for won't give us a COVID bonus but he got over a 4 million dollar bonus. Just wait till you hear from my lawyer. Do you even know who my dad is? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my family is? I'm Ronnie F. I'm Pickering. I live in an area a lot of rich New Yorkers fled to when the pandemic started. One of them actually used the do you know who I am line on me. It was so satisfying to say no. Okay so I have a story for this one. In college there was a guy on my team who was a pretty nice kid overall, but was clearly brought up with more money than sense. One night we're walking home faced from a party, and he thinks it would be funny to steal a parking cone. I'm in no position to judge, because I had done the same not too long before, but I was a little more subtle. He then also decides he wants to steal a parking barrier, like why? So he's carrying these two enormous neon orange items, and with 100 ids to his apartment, campus police pulls up on us, my friend drops them and keeps walking, as if they'll think someone else must have left these things here, and not those two guys who are here alone at 3am, cops tell him to go get the stuff because they're gonna drive him back to where he took it from. Our campus police were very chill, good deal right? Well this kid starts with the my dad is a lawyer, which means I know the law, and I'm not getting in that car without probable cause for arrest. These guys are dumbfounded, because they were giving him the easy way out, so one of them goes I could have you on stolen property and arrest you, I'm offering to help, what do you want to do? I wish I could say the kid was smart and just stopped, nope, he kept at it, he ended up getting multiple tickets and was kicked off campus for behavioral issues. Thankfully he's doing much better now, though he's still a bit of a rich prick, just more subtle about it. Expecting special treatment by default. Store employees, bars clubs restaurants, cutting to the front of lineups, being confused why someone doesn't just replace something that's getting worn, that is, shits, old phone models, gaming consoles, house repairs decor, I can do illegal things and the government will side with me. Brock Turner the Arpist this is his defense strategy, and his little dad, too. Kids who complain when their parents buy them their first car, yes, I hate in movies when teenagers complain about being given their mom's minivan. My first car was my mom's minivan, and it was the best vehicle to drive my mates around in. I camped in it a few times. Went to foreign lands. Minivans are great when you're 18-25. I have literally never seen this except in movies or internet rage videos. The latter which are usually faked. Brings me back to MTV's My Super Sweet 16. I went to a private school with a lot of rich offspring. Yeah, they weren't complaining about it. Some of them did have a certain level of expectation about it. Some of them did do the crash that one. Thank god for a replacement thing. Wasn't there a video of some guy that got choked out after headbutting a waiter? That video just screams rich a hole. I used to do character day party gigs in La. Those who were middle class or less would always tip me too much, feed me too much, and I would meet everyone in their family. When I worked the elite in Beverly Hills or Pacific Palisades mansions I would never meet the parents. They wouldn't be at the party. I would be wandering around the party as Darth Vader or Batman, mostly blind. Asking people where the parents were so I could get paid and get going, only for the butler to take me aside and hand me an envelope with exact change of how much they owed me. My father will hear about this. Gets turned into a ferret. Two parking spot parkers. I'll raise you a four spot wanker I had at work yesterday. Think to rows of parks. You there? Parked over the common point of all four. I had a ridiculously rich landlord once. Owned who knows how many houses. Enough acreage to make a large us county, and a plane, tried to complain to me because I, the person paying rent, 
wasn't doing anything to improve his effing house that I was paying him to live in. B. It's your house. You improve it. Privileged a-hole. 100k diamond bud plug. That's one rich a-hole I wish I had. Don't have enough money? Just buy stocks. Don't find an apartment to rent? Just buy a house. Well I tried to buy a house. The bank said that I can't afford $1,200 a month for a mortgage so I pay $2,300 a month for rent instead. My dad when the guy in the BMW cuts him off. My dad always goes BMW. The number one transporter for a-holes. In his best advertisement voice. Fun story. A few years ago my brother-in-law was buying a new car. He'd narrowed it down to an Audi or a BMW. Went to a gathering at his dad's house. A person present told a joke. What's the difference between a porcupine and a BMW? Porcupine has the pricks on the OU side. Brother-in-law bought an Audi. For me. Range Rovers Land Rovers are the a-hole transporters. <laughs> OMG my ex was full of them. Here's a few. Always buying new clothes. Shits. Or accessories compulsively because you should be willing to invest in your appearance at all times. Which I can agree with to an extent. But not in Burberry. He'd drop at least 5k per visit. Refusing to eat at a restaurant that is part of a chain and complaining to the people who are buying you dinner there about it. Making fun of the waitstaff too. Laughing at homeless people and thinking they're a joke. Making fun of people purely based on their attire or car they drive. There's a reason he's my ex now. Being rude to service workers. I had a rich friend in middle school. We would go to a chick filler after school and he was rude to the workers. I told him in Cashy's earshot that the workers get to your food first. Who knows what they can do to it. Friend had a 180 turnaround to service workers after that. People who answer statements of oh, I wish I had this with just buy it. If I could buy it without being stressed out wouldn't I have bought it already? Idiot. The one who awards himself platinum through his alt account. But that's a gold. That's not me. Seriously. Who has the money to waste on Reddit awards? Seriously. Being handed capital to invest or a job that was handed to you by your family and claiming to be self-made. I bought an apple for 10 cents. Sold it for 20. So I bought two and sold them for 40. Then on and on until a relative died and left me his fortune 500 company. Light prison sentence. Steve Jobs. Co-founder of Apple. You've probably heard of him. He refused to have a license plate on his car. A Mercedes SL55 convertible. California allowed 6 months to get a license plate put on your car. So every 6 months he'd trade in the car for a new lease. And just in case you think that this sounds too ridiculous to be true. I used to work in Silicon Valley and. For a while. At Apple. Steve Wozniak. Last I saw about 3-4 years ago. Drove a white Prius with the license plate was. I remember driving in LA for the first time and being weirded out by how many cars just didn't have plates. What happens if they hit and run? California now requires that all new cars be sold with temporary plates. I totally remember this. What's funny is that back then I'd heard he was really superstitious about numbers or something. And never wanted a plate. I'd assumed he didn't want anyone recognizing his car. Later I was told that it had something to do with his propensity for parking in disabled spots. I'd assumed he didn't want anyone recognizing his car. I would have thought it'd be easier to recognize without plates. Another story about him. After a while, numbered badges were given to Apple employees. Steve Wozniak, the co-founder got the badge number one. Steve Jobs made a scene refusing the badge number two. And a special badge number zero was created for him. Later. He completely refused to wear the magnetic badge and someone had to escort him everywhere to unlock all the doors. Treating regular folks with little to no regard. Particularly those in the service industry. That's not something that rich people do. That's what think they are rich people do. People in million dollar mansions with pools and outdoor space. Who, during the lockdown part of the pandemic, pretended to have it just as bad as everyone else. Yes, or the people living in giant houses with massive gardens saying I really don't understand why everyone is complaining so much about lockdown. Just enjoy the slower pace of life. Meanwhile the people next door are living in tiny apartments with no outside space working from the end of their bed. Celebrities, 
we're all in this together three also celebrities, I'm just taking a bunch of friends on my private jet to a private island to party, we're all in this together as their personal chef prepares them breakfast and their army of maids, gardeners and pool cleaners rush about the grounds of their palatial estate. Me and my family are Scottish, tipping isn't much of a thing here, my mother and I aren't very well off at all. We got by but we never got by easily, on a family holiday to New York for an auntie's wedding, which we couldn't afford and my gran had to help pay for. My mum and I were working with a backpacker's budget, we didn't eat much fancy or go anywhere expensive. At my aunt's wedding breakfast, we ate the cheapest things we could since we were all going in on a bill together. There were at least 8 plus guests who were seriously high and as lawyers, a higher up in Facebook etc. We were expected to pay for their effing extravagant a breakfasts and mimosas. We didn't even have a coffee to save as it was our last day. My mother and I had given so many tips, and we didn't understand how the coins worked so we just gave all our change to anyone we saw asking. We bought about 8 strangers coffee. You'd think us mugs but honestly we just wanted to see some people warm up and be somewhere safe for the January morning. 8 plus people who make 8 figures a year at least. Got by at my mum and I for demanding they tip the staff, we even made sure to clarify they understood how service staff were paid there compared to home. My future uncle-in-law really hit me with them they ought to get a better job, on top of that they were just snide and rude to our server because surprise surprise, 10 breakfasts are hard to make in 5 minutes, the server was an angel and I ended up tipping her a 20 when we left as it was all I had spare. I remember explaining to a co-worker that I was working for jobs at one point. She replied wow, that sounds complicated. Wouldn't it be easier to just have one full time job that paid well? I replied yes. Are you offering one? She suddenly had somewhere else to be. I grew up spoiled af and it took me over a decade to deprogram my cluelessness. In my first paid internship, that I didn't need for the money or anything. I got close with the receptionists who were working women. One of them was talking about her kids and my dumber self said, Oh are you sure you're okay with sending them to daycare? I grew up with my mom as a housewife and it was really good to spend so much time with her. I think it helped me get ahead in school. It's one of the things that runs through my head 15 years later while I'm trying to sleep at night and I remember how much of an idiot I am. A yacht that fits inside another yacht. Someone in a really expensive car cutting people off in traffic. 